What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a couple of news stories for you and a couple of questions, so let's dive right in. Our first story of the day has to do with the Galaxy S23. As you know, that big June update has been rolling out. I still don't have it here in America. I know a lot of other people do have it, and hopefully you are seeing some good things with that update. But as you know, One UI 6 is, at least the beta anyway, is coming out fairly soon. But, but even before that comes out, there's supposed to be another major update coming out. Per Ice Universe, before the arrival of the One UI 6 official version, Galaxy S23 series will have a big update and continue to fix the existing problems. This is not a prediction, but it is a leak. So if you're still having any issues with your Galaxy S23 series phone, again, there should be a big update being coming out again fairly soon for this. So it's nice to see Samsung you know, putting in this the, the effort to put out some big updates and maybe add a little bit of a feature or two and fix things overall. So very, very nice. I personally, the way I, when I do use my S23 Ultra, I don't see a lot of issues. Let me know about if you guys do in the comments down below. Next up has to do with the Google Pixel Fold. You might hear some good stuff, you might hear some bad stuff, but what if it actually breaks? Like what are your options if it breaks, well, the latest information is coming from 9 to 5 Google, and their headline reads, Google Pixel Fold will get DIY, which is do-it-yourself, repair parts through iFixit, the first foldable to ever do so. They go into more detail saying Google will also offer in-store and mail-in repair options for the Pixel Fold. We offer mail-in and walk-in repair services for Pixel Fold outside warranty period, out of warranty repair. We also planning parts, repair guides, and tools available via iFixit for Pixel Fold specifically. We are offering extended warranty via preferred care, which will give customer coverage against accidental damages and mechanical breakdowns after the warranty period ends. The customer can buy either a month plan or a one-time payment with this service. The customer can get the fold repaired or if needed, replaced with a deductible. So this is kind of cool seeing that they're gonna eventually offer some iFixit parts. So if you wanna fix your folding phone yourself, you're gonna be able to, and you won't have to pay maybe as high a premium in order to get it fixed. But if you have the insurance like I have, I would rather must just have someone else do it, bring it to the Assurian store or ship it off to an Assurian uh, place that can fix it. I'd be more comfortable with someone else doing it, a professional doing it than myself. But if you are that type of person that likes to tinker and potentially fix your Pixel Fold, again, it wouldn't be right at launch. It's probably gonna be months away, but it should be coming very, very soon. Your question of the day is when your phone breaks do you like to fix it yourself or do you like to have someone else like a professional fix it let me know in the comments down below without further ado let's jump on our q a yumi says i have a z fold for front screen keyboard expanded to the max and i'm viewing you on my front screen now I have just downloaded Samsung's June update and all I can say is that your channel looks fantastic in landscape mode. I pinch zoom and I can still see the edge details. Have you noticed the changes to the keyboard size or June up enhanced updates? What do you think about the tips users manual settings update? So I haven't received even the June update on my Z Fold 4, so I can't speak to that. I never use my folding phone, especially to watch videos. Like I probably use the front of my phone like out of a hundred times, maybe two, two times. And it's not to watch videos. It's usually just a, hit answer a call or something you know lame like that's nothing too crazy and uh, so i don't have any opinions on it and then i don't use the samsung keyboard either unfortunately i use a google keyboard last question from timothy what is the best 45 watt charger for the samsung galaxy s22 ultra and s23 ultra and my brother is going to get me a smartwatch for a birthday which samsung galaxy watch would you recommend that has a rotating bezel and non-rotating bezel and has good battery life and you and your family have an excellent day um so for the 45 watt charger a safe the safest bet 
just go with the Samsung one, the official Samsung one. Otherwise, uh, look at you know pretty much any other one that's on Amazon that's a good brand, such as Anchor uh, or a brand like that. I, I guess go Anchor 45 watts, it's not a bad way to go. Also, in terms of a Galaxy watch to get, Galaxy Watch 5 or 5 Pro are really good to get, but if you need that, if you really, really need that old school rotating bezel, I'd say wait for, wait for the Watch 6 and 6 Pro. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Hashtag question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.